I made this post on my Facebook. Philosophers are the least intellectual people on earth. My gosh, they think they're so smart and they're so stupid. You're so stupid when you think you're so smart. I don't claim any intelligence. I, I'm, I'm just happy that I'm able to submit my only intelligence. The only intelligence I have, which makes me, in my opinion, more intelligent than my opponents, is that I am saying, I'm just submitting to the Quran and the Sunnah, and you want to philosophize every subject matter. That makes me more intellectual than you are, because at least I know my standards. I know my references, I know my resources, I know what submission is. I'm following the finest of individuals that ever walked the face of this earth. I'm following the most righteous and the most guided people. Alhamdulillah, this is smartness. It is utter stupidity that you turn away from all of that and then you have all these semantics and gymnastics of using advanced terminology to prove that you're so smart, and then if people don't, don't get the gist of what you're saying, then you just turn around and say, oh, all of you are just stupid. It went right over your head, right over your head. Because we didn't understand the fancy vocabulary that you spent you know, years researching on, on Google, and you've memorized them to come and, and show us a display of your uh, athleticism in the uh, sprint of how many words you can quote in one paragraph. Get out of here with that stuff, man. Get out of here with that stuff. That's not intelligence. How, how many people were so intellectual in, and so uh, academic, and yet they were so misguided? So misguided. Some things are meant to be simple, ya baba. Some things are meant to be simple. Wallah, our deed is meant to be simple. One plus one equals two. But now, they, if, if, if you tell someone one, in Islam, one plus one equals two, here comes the Ash'ari and the Maturidi and the uh, Faylasuf, the general Faylasuf. We say, well, it depends on what you mean by one. Do you mean by one as in two divided by half? Or do you mean by one, one times one? Or you mean by one, 100 divided by 100? Or what exactly do you mean by one half plus half? Because if you really think about it, the plus sign is not really a plus. You see, the plus is a cross. And if you think about it, the cross is where Jesus was crucified according to the Christians. Therefore, if you're putting a half and you're putting a cross in between, you're technically saying that Jesus, who was half a man, was crucified on the plus, and then with the other half, he became a god. So I, uh, you are a deviant, misguided, haluli believing mujassim because blah, 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 Ya amma, one plus one equals two. Hell, andi ba. If you this, if you that, and then when when they, when sorry when idiots read the paragraphs, oh, mashallah, khilaf. Look how smart this brother is. Look at the philosophy and the analysis. Oh, did you see this in that one plus one with the cross of Jesus? How did he pick that one up? And then they, they want to show that they're smart too. So they leave a comment equally stupid to the original post. Yeah, well, by the way, there's something that you missed. Sometimes the cross is not just referring to Jesus being crucified because before the crucifixion of Jesus, there were many nations before who was also crucified. Actually, let me take you back to the time of Pharaoh. If you go back to the time of Pharaoh and you refer to this ayah of the Quran, Pharaoh said to them, La fi nakhli. I will crucify you on the palms of the on the trunks of the palm tree. So in reality, we could take this even further, further back in time to prove to you that one plus one is not necessarily two. Hoo-hoo! And then everybody's like, Wah, wallah, shaykh, ya Allah, wallah. Metaphysics. And metachemistry. And meta hatiskut and tingle. And meta hatikhras and fuk kalam and kalamak. And meta matikh and skeptical this and skeptical that. Ya shaykh, oksum billah, it's a, it's a, 
It's a, what is a circus? That's what I'm looking for. It's a circus. And people who are mentally challenged, they find this to be amazing. And then you come and say, yo, yeah, akhi, uh, I believe in the Quran and the Sunnah according to the understanding of the Salaf. They say, ah, <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this anti-intellectual, unintelligent idiot. Look how simple he is. Oh, you can't understand, grasp our complexity and our advanced uh, understanding of subject matters. And because you're so beneath and deficient, uh, the only uh, you say, okay, how do I? I can't deal with these people. They're so much better than me. I have an idea. I'm just to keep, I'm just gonna make it simple. I'm just going to say, oh, I believe in the Quran and Sunnah according to the Salaf. Hey, that's the easiest way out, huh? Because that way, no one will know that I'm not as smart as they are. And I will sound like I got my own thing going on. And yippee! And they genuinely feel this way about us. No, no. They genuinely. A person left a comment in that thing that he said, since you believe in what you believe, that means you are mentally challenged. And maybe it's because you came from Buddhism, so you still have remnants of your belief in Buddha. That's why you're insisting on giving Allah a form and a shape, and you believe in what you believe about Allah. Because in deep inside, I'm still Buddhist. I still have some Buddhist remnants that I can't seem to get over. Yabn al Jazma. Aslan, when I believed in Buddhism, I never believed in Buddha. We used to worship the, the law of cause and effect. We've never ever, even in my craziest days, we never had a statue of Buddha that I looked at and said, oh, this is my God. I would have put my finger in his ear and, and, and broke it off. Aslan. Had they, if, they, if he had a banana, I would have taken it from him back then because I was grimy like that. Why would I leave a banana with a statue? I'm more worthy of the banana before my workout. But wallah, akhwan, wallahi, read the comments on this Muhammad Yusuf al-Hanafi. Read the comments, see what the people are saying to me. You will say, no way on earth. This is the reality. This is the reality that we're dealing with. So, hey, what happened? I think I went on a roller coaster.